hello guys welcome to my youtube channel where you learn to do things for yourself yes this channel is just um, to help you to understand that you can do lots of great stuff for yourself i told you in my last video that i will be teaching you how to not die amongst other great stuff i'll be teaching you life and age has passed where you get to pay for all the service you have for yourself come on you want to cut your hair you go to a barber salon you want to place your hair you go to a barber salon you want to get something edited for your business page you go to look for a graphics designer you have to go to look for somebody who will help you edit your page and all that but life has gone beyond that we are at the point where you get to do things for yourself just anything be a jack of all trade and master in all of it so in this my video i'm going to be teaching you how to not die I'm going to be teaching you how to knot 25 ties but however I'm not going to be teaching them all in one video because it's, um, it's a lengthy process so I'm going to be dividing the videos into four different sections in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to knot five different kind of ties like the bowling tie, the, knot, the bowling knot, the sheet bend knot, the clove hitch um, knot and, every, and some other knots I'll be teaching on this, on this video but before we proceed into learning this kind of knots, there are some terms that are required in knowing how to knot tie. When you are familiar with a few of these terms, a few of the processes in knot tying, it makes learning knot tying easier. So to start with, I'm going to also be teaching you um, the, some of the uses and also some of the ways of maintaining your rope. Okay, there are different kind of ropes you can use in knotting your tie. For me, I have chosen to use a marine rope. All right. To start with, when you are knotting a when you are knotting a rope, okay, there are different things you come across, like a bite. This is a bite. When you make a shape like this in knotting, um, when knotting your rope, it is called a bite. And bite is the beginning of knotting most of the different kind of knots we have. All right, so when you have something like this, it is called a bite, and of course, this is the working end, this is the end that moves mostly while knotting your tie. So, whenever you hear you move the working end, you know that it is this part that gets to move from time to time that it's been talked about. Also, we also have um, what is called the bend. All right, when you make a turn like this around an object or a human, in case the human is what you are knotting the rope on. You make a turn like this and twice and thrice it's called a turn it can be one turn it can be two turns can be three turns as well we also have what is called the overhand loop the overhand loop the overhand loop is when you take the loose end your working end or your loose end across the standing part this part that is most times longer and most times not in use is called the standing part where you take your loose end across and then when you have this loose end across it going over the standing part in this way it is called an overhand loop also it is um, we have what we call an underhand loop this is when the loose end goes under the standing part there are ways of maintaining the rope such as folding your rope after use you fold it in a manner that you can have access to it whenever you also want to use it again another way of maintaining your rope is by making sure that you dry the rope in case it gets wet while using it so in this video we're going to be learning how to knot different kind of tie in in a specific process i'm going to be showing you the uses and how to knot the, the square knot also known as the reef knot it is used to tie two lines together at the end also used in sea reefing and falling sails. Used also in first aid to tie off a bandage or a sling because the knot lies flat. You start by placing two ropes across each other. You go from left to right and also from right to left. If done properly, you should have a symmetrical knot with the two ends parallel to each other. The second knot is the clove hitch. It is used in general utility for boating, sailing, outdoor, home and garden. 
to form the clove hitch make a loop an overhand loop make another overhand loop and then take the second across the first this gives a clove hitch then insert the object in between the two loops a properly done clove hitch has no jamming and no binding everything will be parallel to each other the third knot is a sheet bend used for joining ropes of unequal types and sizes also for boating sailing outdoor home and garden you have to make a bite with the thicker rope and then take this tinier rope into the loop and then drag it across and underneath the smaller rope and then you drag with the working end you can also form a double sheet bend by taking the end of the smaller size rope across beneath it once again to form a double sheet bend if done properly it will come out clean and will be easy to unturn the fourth knot is the bowling it can be tied around someone's waist to lift him in times of danger from a depth it's also used in sailing it is used to tie a hill yard to a sail head. To have a bowling, first start by making an overhead loop towards the working end. The loose end is then taken through the bottom, through the loop, and then around the working end, and then back into the loop from the top, and then dragged around from the working end and the standing end. It gives a bowling. The fifth knot is the figure eight knot. It is used for keeping the end of rope from running out of tackle or pulley. Also for boating, sailing, outdoor and climbing. Start with a bite and trip it over your hand. Sneak around through the back and then slip through the eyelet and drag. This gives you a figure eight knot. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video with more knots. Please like and subscribe to this channel.